men don't necessarily visualise women as being at the top. They, their uh, mental image of the leadership of their organisation is often a clone of themselves. One example is the first board that I was actually appointed to, which was the board of the Snowy Mountains Engineering Authority in Australia. And this was a, a group of engineers who had been um, instrumental in building the Great Snowy Mountain Scheme in Australia and had then become a company owned by the Commonwealth of Australia. And I was the first woman that was appointed to the board. And at my first board meeting, a senior member of the staff, perhaps reflecting some of my fellow board members' uh, anxieties, um, came up to me and said, look, girly, what would you know about engineering anyway? How come the Commonwealth has appointed you to be a member of this board? Which was incredibly rude, but it was also um, a reflection, I felt, of what a lot of the senior management were thinking. What on earth could she bring? And I felt then I had to in a sense, work much harder to justify um, my contribution, uh, whereas I suspect a man in the same position wouldn't have had those sort of challenges. We used to talk about it being uh, the right thing to do to have equal number of women on boards. Then, then after a series of research pr uh, efforts by people like the Conference Board of Canada and others, it was not only the right thing to do, it's the bright thing to do, because what we're seeing is that the bottom line is improving. So, so you've got it's the right thing to do, it's the bright thing to do. Then interesting research that was done in Australia has proven that if we actually had full female participation, we would improve the country's performance by 12%, the productivity of the country. Now, suddenly that gets even the most, uh, let me say, misogynist person interested in the fact that this might actually have an economic effect. It's this productivity argument that has, is moving um, some of the people, even if they don't even want a woman on their board, they don't like women on their boards, they'll understand that it perhaps is getting to the point where it's their fiduciary duty to do that uh, for the productivity of their enterprise and for the productivity of the nation.